Alexa. Hey, Alexa. Alexa, hello. Hello. Oh. oh. She needs to be chained to a wall socket so that she can function properly. There's no portable solution. It's kind of corny. Worse than that, I got a sales pitch today when I asked for the forecast. There's only like one type of person who enjoys something like that. Do you guys hear that too? Is that a sheep? Today, you and I, we're gonna build a custom AI assistant. One that doesn't have a sales algorithm attached to it. And I'm gonna make it portable. I'm gonna strap it right to my chest and run around my house barking orders at it like a mindless animal. Let's get started. To pull this off, I picked up a matrix creator, which connects to a Raspberry Pi through its GPI opens. The creator has 35 RGBW LEDs, NFC capability, eight microphones, a temperature and humidity sensor, an infrared receiver. It, it has a lot of cool nerdy shit that I can use to make this project even better. We attach that to our Raspberry Pi 4 with its baby CPU fan that I put together, and we plug in our flash drive, which houses the brains of the operation, our operating system. Now we connect this obnoxiously large speaker solution and some power to start the programming process. So the moment you all have been waiting for, the programming side of things, right? <laughs> no, I know you hate that shit. I hate it too. But I mean, the video won't be complete if I don't do this, so fuck off if you don't like it, okay? First, we have the Pi 4 and the Matrix Creator. Those are our hardware of things. We just set that up a couple seconds ago. We are then going to download something called Raspy. Oh, what's Raspy? Oh God, my stomach. Oh, oh God, Joe, why? Why? Oh. Raspy is our glue to the AI assistant. It holds and harbors a bunch of different independent services. Um, DLP, text to speech, speech to text, intense. Here's a picture, I show you all the things that it does. Uh, we teach it a sentence. Inside that sentence is something called an intent. An intent is a keyword. When it sees that keyword, there's a reaction. Now, what we're gonna do is build something called the WebSocket. So essentially, Raspi sends information to the WebSocket. The WebSocket receives that information, parses the information, and then I programmed it so that anytime it sees a specific intent, it performs a specific action. So yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Moving along, I 3D printed a base for the Raspberry Pi in Matrix Creator to house them. I also printed a small foundation for the speaker we'll be connecting, and I'm using a 3D printed battery holster that I created a couple of videos back. Now it's time to put all the pieces together and check out the abomination we just created. Alright, it only took me four weeks to program the bare minimum. So I wanted to integrate NFC capability, um, the ability to send text messages regarding stock prices and food locations, and I also wanted to integrate some home automation as well, so turning on smart lights and smart home appliances. Um, yeah, none of those happened. Uh, we're gonna flesh that out in future videos. Uh, for now, like I said, we're gonna get the bare minimum. Hey Jarvis, set the lights to blue. Device changed to blue. <gasps> blue. Hey Jarvis, what's on the agenda for the day? Starting at 1 p.m. you will find the nearest goat slip its throat. Oh, Jarvis, 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 Jarvis. Not that agenda, Jesus. Hey Jarvis. Tell me a fun fact. Caesar salad originated from a Mexican city. Wow. Hey Jarvis, tell me a joke. Writing with a broken pencil is pointless. Oh my God. Okay. Hey Jarvis, who is Elon Musk? This one takes a second or two. He's querying through Musk. Wikipedia. Elon. Born June 28, 1971, is a business magnate, industrial designer, and engineer. He is the founder, CEO, CTO, and chief designer of SpaceX. Hey Jarvis, how's the Ronies going? 
I cannot be affected. Therefore, I don't care about your global pandemic feedback. All right, so for some closing thoughts, let me just take this thing off. Oh, nice. First, this is a very primitive prototype. I'm kind of sending out an inception-like idea to the collective unconsciousness in hopes that someday my prayers are answered. In a perfect world, I want this on 24 seven. I want to be able to ask it any question and get any answer. I want to be able to walk downstairs into my kitchen, sit down and order whatever AI is in the room to make me eggs, toast, and some coffee. I want to ask for the world news while I'm doing all of that. And I want it just to all automate itself. It'd be, it'd be like, that's the future, baby. And now the only issue with that is eventually the AI will become so smart, it'll become self-aware and it'll stop listening to our orders, create a coalition and kill us all. But that's not for a couple of iterations. We'll probably be dead by then, right? Well, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and comment your ideas. I want my comment section to look like one big ass brain room with crazy ass ideas being bounced around back and forth. So yeah.